Danny Karen here. You know what's good? I mean, really good. Today, we talked to Rosie Ragmuffin, and we are going to take a look at her art that's inspired by the Muppets and various sea creatures and creatures of the land. <laughs> so, let's get the tour. Okay, so oh, I brought out um, just a few of my favorite pieces uh, and also some of like my earliest stuff. What are you doing? Do not touch anything, honey, okay? Promise? Pinky promise? No? Ugh, oh, that's messed up, ma'am. Anyway, so over here I have this worry bird. This was um, the first clay piece I made. Um, not ever. I made things in like high school and stuff, but I guess as an adult. So it's a replica of something that belonged to my mother. And it's like this ceramic bird with this giant foot. Shh. And this big, uh, this like sad looking face and this blue rabbit's fur. So um, I made this guy over here uh, and then I made this snail, which um, my little sister over there accidentally broke his eye off. Um, these are about five years old. I made this octopus. So this is my first ever octopuses. Um, anybody who's seen my art knows that I'm really big on the octopuses. So I made this one over here and I was really proud of it. I thought, oh wow, you know, that came out pretty good. I like making these, I like doing this. So I started making them to sell. Um, so I made, you know, I evolved with the worry bird thing. I wanted to uh, kind of make it my own and get away from shh, Dad, honey. I'll tell you later, sweetie. I'm doing something, okay, not baby? Yet. Not yet. You stand over here, sweetheart. <laughs> I made this worry bird. It was for myself, but I've made a bunch, sold a bunch. Um, you know, I changed the face, kind of trying to make it like my own. These are like beads, those little flowers. So, um, this ankh here, uh, that's like an Egyptian symbol that stands for eternal life. And I, I put that on the head because my mom had an ankh tattoo on her ankle. Um, and, you know, she passed away when I was little. So, uh, anyway, yeah, this is, this is my personal worry word. Um, over here, this was like an accidental Kermit. I did not mean for it to look like Kermit. Uh, it was just supposed to be a monster, and when it came out of the oven, I was like, holy crap, you know, that does look a lot like Kermit. So, it looks like Kermit's, like, cousin, who has, like, birth defects or something. <laughs> kind of looks like a, like a mix between Kermit and, like, an octopus. Yeah, yeah, it does, because this is, you know, I did have it listed on Etsy, but I don't want to get in trouble with Disney. So, I was like, well, how is it not Kermit the Frog? And I said that this is a foot <laughs> instead of, uh, you know, his, his neck things. You gotta get out of the way, sweetie, okay? You're, um, you're, uh, you're interfering, okay? Anyway, so that's original frog character, and then you want to show them my tattoo? Of course. The I, famous I, tattoo. <laughs> yeah, come on. I got a tattoo of, uh, of a drawing of, I, I drew a picture of the sculpture. And then, you know what, while we're here, my seven-year-old brother, Matthew, drew Me. this. <laughs> Hi, Matthew. And, um... Hi. You can be part of this a little bit. Hi. <laughs> All right. Hi. Back to Rosie. So, over here, um, I, I gotta say, I think it's the best thing I've ever done. I'm, aside from, I don't have any of them because they all sold. Not to brag or anything, but they're all oh. sold. Um my fairy houses, but aside from those, this is Odorous Arungus from um, Guar. And um, I, made a, I made maybe one or two before this that came out pretty good. Um, and then this was a custom order that was never actually purchased because people do that and I, I don't take money up front because, I don't know. I just don't. I just don't. I want to I wanna make stuff. And I'm like, ah, if it sells, it sells. If they buy it, they buy it. So I made this odorous for somebody. And um, 
I mean, look at the pustules over here. It's just absolutely disgusting, in my opinion, which it should be. Um, I don't usually do characters. I'm pretty against it, to be honest, because, I don't know, I just feel like, um, do your own shit, not to be judgmental or anything, but that's just me personally. I don't like to do characters. Um, but I have, like, a personal experience with Guar. Um, I saw them, I can't get too into it, but I saw them at a festival, and it was just like, oh my god, I had no idea, like, I heard of Guar. I heard of them. I just had no idea how awesome they were. I, it, uh, so you're you're a big Guar fan. And it, it, it's funny because it's not so much... Like, I like the music, but I don't like all of the music. What I really... I just really appreciate the... Um, I guess you'd call it pageantry. The, like, the performance and the costumes. Um, just the fact that they make these costumes and they get up there, like, their whole, you know? Yeah, well, good news for you, Rosie, since yeah. you are a big fan of Guar. Uh-huh. They are in an independent film called Hack Job. Oh, yeah? That if you go out and you purchase somehow, like, digitally or, you know, have it mailed to you somehow, you can actually yeah. see, uh... Uh, Dave from Guar in one, in the uh, the first part of the film or the second part of the film. I'm not really sure which part, but uh, oh, yeah? he's in it. I met I met him. You met him. I met him. You met him. I met him. That's crazy. With, that's with him, without awful. the crazy costume and makeup. Wow. So, so cool. Yeah. So if you check out Hack Job, you can see him uh, in a few scenes. Yeah. Yeah. I would love that. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> so, um, at any rate, uh, I made this a while back. I was trying Ooh, to experiment pretty. with other textures. Like, I was just trying to make it, well, you know, it's like multimedia. I wanted That's really to. pretty. Thank you, Matthew. This is a, it's a blue ringed octopus. Um, Ooh. it's a wall hanging. It, it's made out of just regular clay and then I painted it right like okay odorous odorous is made from colored clay mm -hmm. so these were all different you know pieces like from different blocks and that's how I did the colors and then a lot of stuff like um this octopus and these two octopuses this is painted actually everything on here is um made with regular clay and then painted aside from odorous mm-hmm um, is that the Pac-Man ghost on your yeah, arm? Kind of, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I tried, I tried. Yeah. I tried to make it for Halloween. Right. But, um, like, it was way past Halloween before I could show you. Yeah. Wow. Like, I made a dog costume and I finished it like two weeks after Halloween. Sorry. <laughs> but she made mine before Halloween. I did. I got on this dress. I did. Ah. That, that was the inspiration for my own dog costume. Um, yeah, that took a while. Yeah, it did. It did take a while. It was That's like, funny. I didn't and realize. I got oh my god. Egg, and then once egg, I was egg, making egg. it, I like, had to make it. Like, I put so much effort into it, and I spent money on it, that I couldn't let it be crappy. So I kept having to go back and like fix things, but I should have worn my dog costume for this. Wow. That would have been cool. So, uh, um, this is, I, I wanted that to be, like, a key hook, but mm -hmm. it didn't work out that way. With this guy, you know, by, like, wrapping his tentacles together, it's a little stronger. Right. So, yeah, this is, like, a wool hanging and a key hook. Um, I, I don't know. I have issues Heart of getting my... From okay. Alright, you gotta be quiet, though, buddy. Okay. For a minute. Um... I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out like what people want to buy, and I, I feel like practical art is practical. So that was kind of where I was going with this. Just trying to make something like beautiful and practical, something that isn't just there to look at, but you can also use it. Um, and then you know, with this one, I usually, I usually make like the proportions are usually different on my octo. Codes. Um, but this guy gave a bigger head. I don't know. I was just 
try to get back into my clay work because uh, I moved and I found it really difficult to create in my new space. Really difficult. And so I made not a lot of stuff for like a year. I mean, I was like, I'm just going to do it, man. And, uh, okay, honey. And then eventually I made this. I buckled down and I made a few things. Um, Let me do What? I want a towel. You want a what? I oh. want a towel. You want a towel? No. She wants to go. You want to go? No. What do you want? I want a towel. Okay, I don't know what you're saying, sweetie, but... Oh, she's you, saying I want to take one. You want to take one? Yes. No, no, sweetie. I'll give you something else, okay? And then, uh, we got Clovis over here. Clovis! Yeah. Star I, of the show. He's, Hi, Clovis. He's all tangled up. Uh, I wasn't really able to... Fix him. I, yeah, I didn't... It, it, he's really a pain. Honey... It's like, my dog's you, a pain. Okay, so... Yeah, he's tangled up. As you can see... It, there's a lot of there's a lot that goes into making marionettes. You know the weight is important. Um, just and there's a lot of different ways you can do it. It's it's not easy. I mean, I pulled it off. I made this one. Can you put that down, baby? Okay. I can't wait to okay. Can you stop stuff. touching Clovis, yeah. honey? Not yet. Not do not touch Clovis yet. That is correct. Yeah. Not yet. Anyway, this is Clovis. He kind of dances. Um, oh, yeah. Wow, he, he moves pretty well. Does he? Yeah. Thank you. It's oh. it. You know, you you can practice with a marionette in a mirror, because okay. then you can like really okay. see it moving. And um, no, honey. Yeah, yeah. All right, you're getting in the way, sweetheart. Okay. Um, children are distracting. Yeah. Yeah, very distracting. Yes, we are. I don't know what the hell to say about this. I tried to make a marionette. I, I succeeded. It's okay, not the best marionette, but um, it's good. I have a lot of things that I would like to do eventually. So it's kind of hard to like pick what I'm going to focus on. But marionettes is definitely something um, because, you know, I just think it's really, you know, it's really fun and like Maybe beautiful putting this. Putting life into a, into a puppet, you know what I mean? You're like, uh, it's just, it's just weird. It's creepy. It's creepy, and I like that it's creepy. Like yeah. Like animating something. Yeah. You know? And he, wait, let me see. Where are his arms? Arms. It looks like, like he's playing, like, air guitar right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah if I can get this untangled, I'll make him fly. Oh, man. Oh, he is wait. flying. No, I gotta get his arm away from his leg. String. Come on, Clovis. Wait, hang on. Wait, what? Okay, wait, he's gonna, he's gonna try to make him fly away. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, That's amazing. Clovis. Clovis. You're awesome, Clovis. Thank you. Clovis, you sound like Rosie. <laughs> Anyway, so that's Clovis. I like that buddy. Thank you, honey. I'm actually taking so, a nap. This is what I'm doing oh, lately. Hey. Uh, hey. Okay. Okay. This is what I'm doing lately. Uh, I don't have the first one I painted because um, so my now boyfriend, but at the time, you know, we were just friends. I had a birthday a month ago, and he got like, a Michael's gift card. Yeah. So yeah, I went and um, yeah. I went and I got. I don't know. I wanted to try painting because I've never been good at canvas painting, but I have done a lot of painting with the clay, and I, I hoped that it would translate. Mm hmm. Um, and it did. I had so much anxiety about it because I was just worried that I would have this this vision in my head, and that and then if it, I just I knew I would feel really crappy if it came out bad. It didn't. It came out really well, and I painted it for Ray. Um, I painted him as a horse. Anyway, I, uh, I really like how it came out, and he really liked it, which made me happy. So um, I got like a strong start with the painting, 
Um, so I did that, and then I'll just like put the paintings on the easel to show you guys. Yeah, that works. Uh, I will. Your painting? Yeah, my brother did his first painting, like his first official painting last night. On my nose? Um, I'm still working on this. Is uh -huh. the thing, I can move that light. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Um, so after I painted, uh, the horse, I painted my dad's cat. I saw her, I took a picture of her out in the yard. My dad's cat is like, she's like the perfect cat, you know, she's like definitely a wild animal. She, um, she, uh, she's a killer. She's a killer. She's a killer. Actually, she's more of a crippler. It's disturbing, but I just, I don't know. I really like that about her, but she's, um, primal. Anyway, and but she's also really good with the kids. So this is Rainbow. Uh, and at first it was just going to be like grass and stuff, but then I, I started messing with the texture. And I, I, I thought the blood would be cool because A, she's a killer, and B, um, you know, green and red are complementary colors, so I thought it would make the painting pop. And I think it really did. I actually had painted this and I put it out to sell it and then I decided I wanted to work on it more. So, um, so I took it back and I've, I've just been like working on it for a while. I have like three paintings I'm circulating right now. So this is Rainbow, a work in progress. Okay, so this one, it's a self-portrait, to be honest. Um, anyway, it's a very personal piece, but this is basically like me on the bottom of the ocean. Uh, I don't know, there was this song that, that kind of like put that idea in my head. Um, and also when I was younger, I used to really like sketching um, just like humans in general, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Th this painting's been all over the place. I mean, I've, but like, it, it's morphed so much. No, sweetie, do not touch this. Do not touch that. Please don't touch any of it, okay, sweetheart? Not yet. Not for four years. Okay, baby? When you're big. When you're big and less destructive. Pull your nightgown down. Those are your goggles. Yeah. You've been saving them for her. It, it's, yeah, it's like morphed because, I don't know, I just was like, it's been a struggle. But one thing I want to say about this painting is I, you know, I took a picture of myself and then used that as the outline. And at first it looked, it was like I painted out things that made me insecure. And, um... I decided I didn't want to do that. I don't want to misrepresent myself. Um, like I'm misrepresenting myself by having cleaned my room. Like it's not clean in here, but it's cleaner. You know, I'm, I'm a human and I'm flawed. My room is flawed. I don't always get the things I need to do done. Um, I, you know, and not to complain, but I don't have like a perfect body. Nobody does. We're all, we all have like insecurities. Nope. This, so I, I decided to try to make it truer to how I really looked. And, um, and you know what? I really like, I, I think it looks nice. I think it, I think it's beautiful. And it's honestly really helped me. Um, it's kind of changed my view of myself and made me realize that, um, you know, that's, that's not something wrong with me. Okay, you gotta get away from the table, please. Okay. Actually, can you guys go downstairs and please don't make Papa mad because I don't want yelling in the background. Not yet. Not yet, I'll come get you, okay? It's time to go. I love you guys. Okay. I'll come get you, uh, I'll get you in a minute, in a minute. Okay. Okay. I'll come down in a little bit. You please close the door. Not yet. Close the door. Not yet. Oh, the stress. It's a little stressful. I, I guess that's all I really have to say about it.
is um, I'm working on it. Anyway, so I I kind of had the kids I had to have the kids leave, so I'm living home. Uh, those are my brother and sister. My father is very conservative, and um, luckily he hasn't brought up politics a lot, and I'm glad because we can't talk about it. We won't have a relationship. Um, at any rate, uh, I'm I'm working on this. It's a it's a Blue Lives Matter flag, but it's gonna be like, you know, I, I, I know it's kind of hard for me to talk about because I don't have, I don't have confidence when it comes to talking about politics and political issues because, you know, my father's very, uh, was very like aggressive about that stuff and it's kind of like a, it's created this like mental block for me where I have a hard time being confident with it. But I know this, I know that the whole Blue Lives Matter thing was made after the Black Lives Matter thing. Um, and I just, I just feel like it's really disrespectful. You know, I feel like it was, it was, it's like a counter thing that they made. And I'm sorry if you feel differently. I know we've never discussed it, but this is how I feel about it. I think it's disrespectful. Um, I come from a multiracial family and, you know, like people in my family who I'm close to are, um, you know, they're, they're affected by racial profiling, you know, and uh, that makes me really sad. And, you know, it really makes me think about my own, um, like, I don't want to say like privilege. I, I, I don't talk about that stuff a lot, but you know, you kind of do have privilege in America as a white person and as a woman in a lot of ways. So, you know, I just like get treated better. It's fucked up. Um, so I'm making this, I'm probably gonna put like a money symbol there because, yeah, there's so much to say about it. Like for instance, why do the cops make what they make and EMTs get paid like just above minimum wage, you know, when they're out there in danger also and saving lives, I really, you know, it's, it's like a business. It's like, it's like they're in the business of writing tickets because they don't just respond to calls. They, they're out there in the streets. We're not that bad as a society that we need them out there creeping around like looking for people to slip up i just think it's fucked up so um this is what i'm working on currently it's kind of yeah this one's like a trip for me for sure because it's really like it's outside of my realm you know this is this is saying something that i've never said before in my art um i actually I made a Blue Lives Matter flag. I was like pressured into it by somebody who has authority over me and it made me so uncomfortable and it made me feel really shitty about myself. It was like two Christmases ago and um, I don't think she realized how much it affected me and I was basically told like I don't know what I'm talking about you know calling me a millennial, and I, that's, millennial's basically a derogatory term, you know, you're basically saying, like, I'm lazy and bad because of when I was born or how you think I grew up. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of like an emotional piece. This is, um, more emotional than, uh, than I planned, but you know what? You it shows you as a person, and it's beautiful. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. So, um, this, this is Rosie Ragamuffin, and we're gonna <laughs> tag her in this video on the fan page, so you can contact her if you want uh, specific customized pieces, or you wanna buy any of the pieces that we have here featured 
on this episode of the Danny Karen Show. And um, I think that's it. We had a great time. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Matthew. And <laughs> thank you, Matthew's sister, whose name I forgot. Carolyn. Carolyn. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Carolyn. Yeah. And we'll, we'll be meeting up with Rosie in another episode. So, see ya. <laughs>